Hello and welcome to another Wolf Time gaming video. Today we're back to Star Wars Armada because I've just had both of my Venators delivered. They are absolutely fantastic. I am completely blown away by the details. They are so much better than the core box, the acclimator. The, these things have got pretty much everything covered. There are a few very, very small details missing though, and that's what I'm going to be doing today. You can see the before and the after on the, on the image on the screen now. Before we get started on that though, as usual, let's get that kettle on. Okay, so first off, let's have a little look at these ships. I mean, they are unbelievable. You look at the detailing on the top of the vessels compared to the acclimator in the core box. They are unbelievable. They're really, really, really good. Now, the, there is one of the main details I've noticed just along the, the side of the vessel on starboard and port. You've got that sort of recessed area, the same as the acclimator, that is very, very light on these vessels. They, they've just not shaded them enough in my mind. Uh, there's also the uh, engines are, are very plain grey colour, there's no sort of detailing on them at all so we can stick some shade on there and get that looking really good straight away. Maybe the, the weapons as well on the on port and starboard, just near either side of the you know the superstructure where the bridge is, um, there's sort of no uh, colour on any of them at all, they're all just, just that plain sort of light grey colour. We really want them getting looking really really good, um, I think we can give these a, a, a bit of an overhaul and get them looking pretty sweet really really quickly with only using a few paints so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'll shift the other one out of the way I'm just going to uh, get some paint on the you know the, the guns essentially just on the starboard and the port of the superstructure and you just take your time with this all I've done is get a, got a little bit of contrast paint I'm using contrast basilicum grey I'm just doing the one side of the weapon first all the way down the vessel and then I'll flip it around and I'll paint the, the other side of the weapon so you're not trying to do each individual piece I, I find that you know quite efficient to paint that way um, the contrast paints will or may run slightly uh, on these so do be very careful if you're going to attempt this um, I also had to play around with using a contrast black instead of black templar um, and I think that does darken it down quite a lot and, and makes them stand out more but I think the grey is probably the better colour to use for these well, obviously it's completely up to you guys you know the it just makes them stand out a lot more compared to the rest of the the actual uh, hull of the ship and doesn't let it blend in as such now the actual um, engines themselves uh, while the blue is pretty it's not far off it's a very light blue they've used to actually uh, paint these I wanted to have it um, the same as the acclimator I've done so I grabbed a little bit of Sotec green initially um, and I'm just painting the Sotec green all the way right in there I'm not being too neat with this um, I'm just essentially just getting the paint into the engine box um, just so it, it it looks it's like a darker blue than the one they've used so essentially it looks like it's glowing more when you had a little bit of a highlight in there as well and it looks really really good though if you wanted to leave the engines completely as they are they work I think they look good as they as they come out of the box to be honest with you they're probably some of the the best I've seen so far these armada vessels now are getting really really good now as I just mentioned I'm now highlighting just the centre of the engines and I'm using Temple Guard Blue to do this. All I'm doing is grabbing a little bit of paint on the brush and just touching the middle of each of the engines. Including the small ones as well but I'm obviously being very very careful with these. You know, you've got to remember these don't have to look uh, perfect because they are engines. just need to look very similar to each other essentially. So just a highlight to the centre with darker out areas around the outside and they'll look fantastic. Now the, the next thing I'm going to do is start uh, actually uh, shading some of the areas of the vessel. Now you can see there's definitely some areas that the, the shading just hasn't gone on to. You know, you've got the really nice panels all over the, the superstructure and all over the hull of the vessel which look absolutely fantastic. But in some areas this really is lacking. Um, just 
just around the edges of the um, the actual bridge area. The engines especially have got absolutely no shading on them, they're just plain grey. So I really did go thick with that and I'm using Null Null for this by the way. Um, it's a really good paint from Games Workshop, a really good shade from Games Workshop. Null Null is definitely one of my go-tos. Um, one of the big areas around the vessel is this sort of indented area just between um, you know the the top and the bottom of the vessel just on the port and starboard um, and I've really gone thick into here because there's there's pretty much no shading at all along the whole ship now one thing I, I, I will um, point out that I did a little bit later in the in the video is I actually went over the whole superstructure as well with a bit of watered down null oil probably went about 50-50 with this, um, one thing you will find is a lot of the null null will pull away from um, the actual vessel itself, the, especially the panels, the, the smoother panels, because um, of the you know they put a, a really good varnish on these things, so essentially it can slide off quite quickly. But really do take your time with it, and you'll see that uh, if you go over the top, leave it for a f you know a few seconds, and then go back over, it sticks really nicely then, and you get a really good result at the end of it as well. You know, we, we looked at the um, original uh, image at the start of the video where we saw the ship on the left being the before and the ship on the right being after, and you can really start to see the differences now, especially with the engines. You can see the, the vessel on the right that we've actually put the paint on. They've got a really nice glow now to the engines. Um, you look at the, the actual tops of the vessel, you can see there's, there is a big difference, especially around the engine areas. Um, and that's the whole fleet when it's a completely painted and you can see I've done both of the Venators now you can see that it matches the acclimator really really well you've got a lot of the smaller ships it all blends in really really nicely together and looks absolutely fantastic on the table I am so pleased with how these are turning out you know me we, I love um, ships I love vessels I love anything space and these look unbelievable now, Clone Wars for me wasn't a, a big pull but my son is massively into the Clone Wars and this really did get me excited when I saw these but thanks for watching guys make sure you do hit that subscribe button it really does help go and check out the other videos as well if you haven't already seen them otherwise I'll see you in the next one